Hello, this is a guide on how to access older versions of Minecraft Dungeons. Um, the reason that we want to go back to older versions of Minecraft Dungeons is to be able to abuse glitches that are used in speedruns of Minecraft Dungeons that were patched out on the most recent version. So, before I get started, I am going to first off say that you need to own Minecraft Dungeons and have the, like, like Mojang's version of Minecraft Dungeons downloaded first from, like, Microsoft Windows Store, or, like, Windows Store is what I meant to say, because if you don't, you will not, this will not download correctly, I don't think, and you won't be able to find your character's save files to put your save files in, which I will show off in another video, but you're going to want to download the original Minecraft Dungeons before you try downloading older versions. So, this right here is the DMM, also known as the Dungeons Mod Manager. It was made by a group of modders to integrate mods into Minecraft Dungeons, but they made a version for speedrunners to use to go back to older versions of um, Minecraft Dungeons. So we use it to, you know, obviously, like I said, go back to older versions of Minecraft Dungeons and abuse their glitches and speedruns. This right here is a file that was added on later to sub like make it work again because Mojang at one point tried patching what we use to get to older versions so the modders made this file to fix their fix so when you download this, you'll get a zip folder, and all you have to do is just extract all to your desktop or wherever you want to extract it to. But I'm going to use my own mod manager. Uh, you'll see, like, if I go to profiles here, these are the different versions. These are all the ones I already have downloaded. So for my example, I'm going to download 1.15. When you... Oh, you're going to want to run whenever you get into file, like the... DMM, there'll be these list of files here, and you're going to want to click on DMM. That will open this little window here. Once you've got this window open, you've got your versions here. Now this says launcher versions, and if you scroll down, there's like Windows Store versions. This doesn't really work anymore. They at one point had Windows Store and launcher, like their own separate, like applications but then they kind of combined them both into the windows store so now it's like the same thing but the most popular version is 1.14 but since i already have it downloaded i'm just going to download 1.15 as an example of like you know what it does and how to you know download a version but 1.14 is what is most used because it is used in the main category any percent and all missions new game which is just every base level of the game from a new save file so yeah i'm just going to do 1.15 as an example but 1.14 is the uh most competitive and most popular one because of the glitches utilized on it as you'll see, you'll just select the version and you'll go over to start game, which will cause it to start installing if you don't already have it installed. It'll just do this bar uh, file by file. So this is file 8. Once this fills up, it'll be 9 out of 206. So it'll go file by file. For the most part, it's pretty quick. It should only take about 15 to 20 minutes if you're on a decent internet. But 
you just gotta let it do its thing. I'm gonna let this download and then I will come back and explain what to do from there. No, I forgot to I forgot to mention during the download, do not let your system go into sleep mode. Like, don't let it go to screensaver or go to sleep because I've noticed whenever I try downloading any new versions that if I let my computer go to sleep, I'll come back and the download will be done. But, like, nine times out of ten for me personally, it just doesn't work. And, like I said, you have to use an extra file to get it to work now. But I had trouble getting it to work even after putting the extra file in. Which just leads me to believe that it has something to do with the system going to sleep while it's downloading. I don't know why this happens, but make sure that your system stays on throughout the entirety of the download just to ensure it doesn't screw up. Okay, now once you're finished downloading, you all you have to do now is just click start game, and this is how you'll do it every time. Uh, once you finish downloading it, you'll just go to the version that you want to load up and just hit start game, and this is what it will do. It'll load up the game, but you're going to see something happen. And I'll explain in a minute. Okay. So that game's loaded up. But when I click here, right, here's my different characters. Let me just try to, you know, make a character, go into a game. Now, when I start loading in here, It the works apparently. Something's wrong. That shouldn't have worked. Um. Well, anyways, this version just decides to work. However, uh, I will say that for just this one worked. But as you can see, version is 1.15. And I'm going through the game on version 1.15. To prove this, I can let me go to camp. And show that, because this is only at 1.17. There is no treetop tangle. So like you can see, here's, um, there's two different missions here. This one's Creeper Woods, because this is Gauntlet of Gales, I think. But there's no treetop tangle, as you can see. So, um, it's definitely one point, you know, mm -hmm. 15. You can't go into the tower, because there is no data for the tower. And since you're on an older version, you can't load the most recent one, so... Uh, anyways, now I'm going to just exit out now, because what I wanted to show was, it wasn't supposed to work, but maybe 1.15 works for some reason, but what I was going to show is that this file right here that I said that you need to add, um, if there is ever one where you load it up and it crashes when you're loading up, like, the game, you're going to need this file. So open up your DMM. This profiles folder is your versions. So you'll see like, you see I got 1.15 downloaded and 1.14, you'll see if I go into 1.14. And this is the path that you'll have to follow to put in uh, this file, this is input to make sure that the version works. So you'll go through dungeons, binaries, Win64, 
and then you'll be here, which I don't know why that's there. That's not usually there, but now once you're in Win64, whatever your version that you're trying to put this file into, you just drag it and drop it in, which is what I'll do for 1.15 just to show you what I mean. It doesn't really need it, but um, yeah, we're in 164, and we'll just drop it in there. But um, I mean, you can just copy it and paste it into the other ones. You know, you don't have to download a new one each time. You can just copy it over. This one seems to work without this input also for some reason, which isn't normal. And I did not mean to start it. Hold on. Well, actually, no, I'll use this as an example because this is 1.2. So I'll just show off 1.2 here real quick. I'll show I'll show the fact that there is no... um. Now, you can't go into 1.2 with items that aren't from 1.2, by the way. So if you load a character on 1.14 and you get, like, a weapon that, or an armor or any, any gear that is exclusive to 1.14... And like items, not enchants. Enchants, it'll just get rid of the enchant on that item whenever you go back to an older version. If it doesn't exist, it'll get rid of it. But items, it'll crash your game. So if you try loading up a character, like, you know, maybe this one for example, I'm gonna just delete it so it doesn't cause any issues. But you can see, like, this menu right here is already looking different. You start the game, and I'll show the version number two. 1.2 exit and you'll see like some key there's some key things in 1.2 that are different um one there's not like all the icons that the newer versions have that show like different stuff this says island realms coming soon there's no dlc because it didn't exist in 1.2 this is, you know, there's no tower. You can see that. So th this is 1.2. You know, there's no nether. And I'll just show off a little fancy. Skip. That you used to be able to do on 1.2. You used to be able to do this little jump on 1.2, which I didn't do it, but I'm not going to screw around with that too much. But yeah, you can skip that bridge on 1.2. I'm just, I didn't feel like walking back around to do it. Because I'm just trying to show off how to do this. But yeah, if a file is not, or if a version's not working, sorry. Just uh, make sure it has the sin put like I was trying to show. Right here. They all have to have that. Well, I recommend putting that on all of them anyways. I guess 1.15 doesn't need it, but I recommend putting that in all of them in that same directory. It'll be the same for all of them. It'll for all of them it'll be um you know dungeons binaries win64 for all of them. So just do that. Uh, again, the Windows Store versions are not like you don't want to touch them. As long as you own Minecraft dungeons, this should work. Oh, I should probably talk about this. Um. This is for set seed. I'll cover this in another video. I won't cover this in this video because this is really this only needs to be talked about if you're planning on doing set seed, which um I don't need to talk about in this video. I'll just explain it in another video. But um the launcher closed launcher after starting game. This just means that whenever I start my game, it's it's exactly what it says. It'll close this out, so then you have one less tab open in the background. That's really all it does. I mean, this this tab doesn't really take up a whole lot of space in the background anyways, but it's just nice to be able to just have it close out by itself. Besides that, you should be able to play, you know, whatever version you want. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say when it comes to playing older versions if there's any questions you know about how this works or if you're having trouble getting it working um 
just kind of leave a comment and I'll try to figure out what is causing you an issue. The downloads for these files will be in the uh, description if I didn't say that. So, um, just, you know, make sure you download both files and do exactly as I showed in the video and you should be able to get the versions to work. Uh, I mean, I again, I would take everything that I say uh, seriously, so then the installation doesn't screw up, because then you might have a screwed up installation, and you might be wondering what you did wrong, and, you know, if something goes wrong, and you think that you screwed up the installation, you think that might be the issue, I, this is what you can do, actually, I'll add this a little bit. I would go into your profiles to your versions. Whatever version isn't working, if you think the installation is screwed up, I would recommend just highlighting the version that you want to fix. I'm going to do 1.15 because I'm not going to use it. And just deleting it. And then just reinstalling it. And you'll see when I come back over here, since it's not there anymore, it'll reinstall it again. And I'm going to close it out because I don't want it to do all that, but, um, yeah. And see, it's back. The few files that were added are back. But if you think the installation got screwed up, just delete it, reinstall it from the, uh, DMM, and make sure that there's nothing that can screw up the installation like I said and it should be fine that's about all again if there's any questions problems issues you know just let me know in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can